Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Mustadir Abi and welcome to my another tutorial. And today in this tutorial, I am going to show you the supervised classification of a Landsat 8 imagery. And in my previous tutorial video, uh, I showed you the unsupervised classification of a Landsat 8 imagery. So the supervised classification will be more accurate than uh, in some cases, uh, it, it will be more accurate than the unsupervised classification. For this tutorial, I am going to use a Landsat 8 imagery of my area of interest. And uh, if you don't know how to find this data, uh, check my description box. So, uh, after downloaded the maps here, uh, go to add data. So, from this uh, File folder here. Uh, we're going to add just this uh, file mtl.txt, and this file uh, has all the bands here. So click add to add this to your RGS software. So after adding your file here, and we're going to classify this map. Uh, and the first thing is go to geoprocessing and go to environments and go to workspace and select your scratch workspace and uh, for this tutorial I have created a folder supervised classification and I have created a geodatabase inside my folder and click add to uh, add this as your uh, workspace and click ok so we are going to need a toolbar here called, uh, called image classification right click here and go to image classification and uh, click here to add this uh, toolbar here and make sure you have selected your uh, map here and before we start uh, our tutorial uh, go to cast uh, windows and go to image analysis and select this data and uh, you can see this uh, we can't uh, recognize anything and uh, we can uh, use our reader click enhancement here and you can find this tutorial in my description box for more details okay that will be that will be good and uh, select here to remove this background and close this tab so now we are ready to go and if you expand the classification menu you can see some of the options available to you for supervised classification and before we perform a supervised classification we must create training data and think of this data as samples telling art map which pixel value belongs to which class click here training sample manager and let's move it here and you can draw polygon or draw rectangle or draw circle here and i'm choosing the draw polygon and if you see in this map we uh, it's hard to recognize the water bodies and uh, agriculture lands and forest lands here so for this we need some band combination like 564 as uh, 5 as near infrared or band number 5 and uh, green as shortwave infrared or band number 6 and blue as red or band number 4 and here you can see this is a water body and this water body is appears in a blue area so to uh, take this samples just click here and double click to finish this and we are going to need some different data type here uh, as you can see this uh, water bodies is uh, showing as 
blue and this is more dark so the structural reflectance is not same for all the water bodies so we have to collect uh, some samples here and uh, as more samples we give it to our software uh, the classification that will be uh, possibly more accurate so let's take this as a sample Here is another type of water bodies. Okay, so we have our uh, water body, uh, we have our sample, samples of water bodies and we uh, said to our system that uh, take this sample and show where the other water bodies are and you can just select here and click shift and click here to select all this or you can just simply uh, drag and select all this and you can see the his program for this class okay so here you can see the histogram of these values and uh, this is the value uh, and this is the count the total pixel count and you can see and you have another option to uh, show a scatter plot and you can see here so the next Thing is I'm going to merge them together so click here to merge the samples and let's rename it as water body and set the color as blue and you can save these training samples here so to identify the parent area, uh, I'm going to use the band combination as 432 as the natural color. And we call this band combination as natural color. Other band combination uh, we say it is uh, false band combination or false color combination. Sorry, false color combination. So. Uh, we are going to use these band combination to identify the uh, barren area as you can see these are the barren areas and again we are going to uh, draw a polygon here so uh, here I have taken samples from different places and again uh, we are going to merge them together and let's select the area and uh, select the color as medium coral okay uh, and so next we are going to identify the first areas and uh, we can use the natural color combination true color combination or false color combination so uh, you can use them both and uh, you can uh, we can use 5 for 3 as near infrared 5 for green as 4 as red and blue as green and here you can see the uh, vegetation er, vegetated areas are now we are seeing in red here the uh, dark red or more dark is representing the high dense forest as like forest crops and here the pinkish areas are for agricultural lands so uh, first we are going to take samples for forest crops and let's combine together and merge together and forest And we can also use this band combination for agricultural 
uh, identification of agricultural crops or we can use the band combination of 6 5 2 as short wave infrared and uh, 5 as near infrared green and blue is as blue so here we can see the light light green is uh, is representing the vegetation area so we're going to take examples again as this field so after we have uh, collecting uh, collected our uh, samples uh, let's just save our files here again and now this time we're going to create a signature file for this map for the uh, samples and go to click here and uh, click here to create a signature file okay so after creating your signature file just uh, cross this and go to classification and select maximum likelihood classification and input your signature file okay this uh, this this is our signature file for this this is and click open here and click ok so here here is our results ok so and let's change the colors for them and uh, you can open your training samples manager to help you and uh, the first one is water bodies as this one will be blue and the second one is barren area as i'm going to see it as this one and the third one is the forest and for forest it will be red green and the for agricultural lands it will be white apple so here it is uh, you can also uh, if you wanna delete some samples menu and uh, click here and you can split a training sample here and you can uh, you can delete any samples if you want to delete something uh, so um, that's it that's uh, that's all in this tutorial video and in in my next video i'm going to show you some more steps we can do for a better result and for better classification and uh, thank you for supporting my channel and uh, if you are first time watching my videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you see you